In this practical, we're going to take a look at the power unit of a PC, and then we're going to use a multimeter to check some of the voltages that it outputs. With the cover open, we can see the power unit, the mains cable supplying it, and also some of the output cables. Finally, we can see a spare Molex connector which was attached to a disk drive. Now we take a closer look at the power unit itself to find the power rating. As you can see it's 200 watts. We can also see the input mains voltage and the output voltages as well as a safety notice. Now we're going to check the form factor of the motherboard by looking at the power supplied to it. There are two inline connectors P8 and P9 from the power unit. That means that the form factor is AT. Next we set the multimeter to the lowest range capable of measuring the voltages we're interested in. This is 20 volts DC and will ensure that our readings are as accurate as possible. We're now going to measure the output on the Molex connector. Using our multimeter we are going to connect the red cable on the multimeter, that's the positive cable, to the red output on the Molex, the 5 volt output. We then take the black cable of the multimeter and connect it to one of the black or ground cables on the Molex. When we turn the power on we see that the voltage settles down to 5.07 volts, well within tolerance. However, when we turn the power off we can see that the voltage does not fall off immediately it takes a while to return to zero. If you need to power up your system cleanly, for example when carrying out antivirus procedures, you should make sure that your machine has been powered off for at least 30 seconds before it is powered back on again. Next we're going to measure the output from the 12 volt cable. We attach the red positive cable from the multimeter to the yellow terminal and the black cable from the multimeter to one of the ground black terminals. As soon as we turn the power on we can see that it settles down to just over 12.2 volts. This is well within tolerance again. Again we find that when we switch off the voltage does not return to zero immediately this is due to the fact that the capacitors take a while to discharge. We're now going to disconnect the power supply from the motherboard. For an AT form factor board, this involves disconnecting the P8 and P9 connectors. This can be a little awkward as you'll see. You will need to tilt the connectors forward and maneuver them out of their sockets. In this practical we've looked at the power unit of a PC we've seen how to determine its power rating, we've also seen the way in which the power is delivered to the motherboard, in this case via P8 and P9 connectors to an AT form factor board. In addition to that we've measured some of the output voltages on the cables from the power unit. If you get the opportunity you should practice as many of these procedures as you can on a real system. However when working with electricity Please be careful always to observe the safety procedures.